plan. Hey, Brian. Look at this power wagon. What's going on? <laughs> good to Man. see you. This is a good Samaritan. So I'm on the freeway, motorcycle front brake locks up, and I get pulled over on the side of the road. Glenn comes over, hey man, you need help? Oh my God, Brian Fuller, what are you doing? I go, hey, let's hang out later. Right now, can you just help me with my brake? Do you have an Allen Ridge? It got me off the road, thank you. That was so nice of you to pull over. Look at this power wagon. We brought our 1950 Dodge power wagon. For the most part, the exterior of the truck is the way it looked back in the day. One of the few things that I changed was to the wheel and tire combination. They still have bud wheels, but we went to a larger diameter from a World War II deuce and a half. I love the wheels, man. Those are perfect. It just looks like gnarly man truck. <laughs> That's what I hear. Other than it's like really clean and nice, you know, other than that. We need to dirty this thing up a little bit. I've heard that before. You need to get too. it out in the mud. Yeah. At the end of World War II, all the GIs coming back home from the war said, look, when we were gone overseas in the war, we had all these four-wheel drive vehicles that would go anywhere and do anything. So they had a lot of requests when they came home that, hey, we want a full utilitarian type vehicle. Dodge took their pickup truck cab, put it on their World War II running gear, their chassis, and came up with the name Dodge Power Wagon. So it still has the factory winch, and, and I did put a large manly type hook and chain on to make it look more God, tough. Look at it. Is it, is, oh, it's a PTO. It's a PTO, PTO the, original right. power PTO. takeoff. <laughs> Those of you who are, aren't in tractor land, this is a guy who helps people on the side of the road. And you, you know, you may need to pull somebody out of a ditch. You never know. All right. OK, that's good. Good? You better have your parking brake on, because, yeah. Oh, ah, I'm losing. I can't believe it, Mike. Oh, I like it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I had the pleasure to meet Demetrio Montavo at a previous caffeine and octane event. He came from Cuba on a guest visa and support from some of his buddies in the Cadillac Car Club. Outside Cuba, I haven't been in any place. That is my first time, and it's like a dream for me. Oh my God, this is wonderful. They made me crazy. His goal while in the States is to source everyday parts not readily available in Cuba. Those parts keep his taxi cab running and his family fed. This visit, he's in dire need of a simple steering rod. If you can find somebody who has that kind of technical ability, and he is a mechanical engineer by profession. We don't have a place where you can go and buy a part for your car. So you have to create. To see what this guy can do with nothing is a lost art or is a dying art in this country.